Hey, what's up, guys? So I got around to reviewing the first episode of Arrow. Now let's review the series premiere of The Flash, which I obviously was looking forward to. One is a big comic person, or comic hero person. I don't read that many comics, but I like the heroes of them. And also being a big fan of The Flash, and this being a, a crossover with it. Uh, there will be spoilers in any of my TV reviews ever so just be prepared for that and be prepared for that in this one so the flash starts off and he's given his typical monologue that hey i'm the fastest man alive good nod to the comics and just who he is and we're getting a younger flash than what i'm used to it's still still a you know he's still in his 20s i mean it, he he's around the right age just a, a bit younger um uh, and uh, he just doesn't seem as confident as the Flash I'm used to in his personal life. But that will probably develop more as he becomes the Flash more and becomes more cocky. But we start off uh, like right after he gets back from Starling City. And he gets in the accident, which they already showed, I believe anyways, that they showed on the Flash, or on Arrow. Ugh, get my tongue all twisted up and whatnot. Uh, so... It's some sometime after that, I believe, nine months after the accidents where the actual action starts picking up. Well, I guess just talk about the stuff that did happen in the past. We start off when he's a little boy and he sees his mom get killed by this, like, tornado of lightning that appears to be yellow and red, kind of hinting to the reverse flash, which is mentioned more throughout the episode, which I'll get to. Uh, and then his dad gets framed for it. Uh... So that that's kind of what happened. His dad's played by a dude who played the Flash back in the original live-action series. So nice nod to fans of that. Yeah, he plays the dad of this Barry Allen. Uh, then he gets taken care of by the cop whose name I can't remember. Who, in when the accident happens, his partner gets killed by by people who supposedly died in a plane crash. But one of those people got powers too, and that's our villain of this week, which I think. Much like when Arrow first started, uh, I believe we're going to get that same kind of feel here from The Flash, where the first couple weeks, maybe most of the first season, will be kind of a collection of these metahumans. Um, the way they show off his powers, uh, because it's a villain of the week, I'm going to talk more about the episode itself, on like where I talked a lot about what happened in Arrow. This one's more the meaning to what happened. So when they showed the Flash's powers with the super speed, I like the way they did it because they mix this kind of blur redness at certain points with the slowdown time. So we get both at, we get his aspect where it looks like everything's slowed down. And then we get the aspect of no, like a streak of lightning just went around here. Another cool thing that happens when he took on the first villain of the week who can control weather, makes the tornado. He does kind of the reverse tornado thing, which is, Another thing that, that happens in the comics a couple times where he'll make his own tornado or stop tornado by doing that. He does that around the tornado. He's, he did that a couple times in the Justice League animated show, too. Uh, I like that thing. and it, it What I don't like because of this is when he did that, the his father figure, the, um, I can't, the, the cop's name, once again, who, who he's best friends with Iris' daughter, who in the comics he winds up marrying. Uh, he he finds out that he's the Flash, and I, I just I kind of didn't like that in Arrow when it sounded like too many people would find out who he was too soon. Uh, it started off even earlier in this. We'll see how it works out. I think the dad will probably wind up dying by the end of the season. That's just me. Uh, so he he's with with him. They find out he's the Flash, and that's all cool. Uh, the Flash, and this time he gets his side character set up right away. We get uh, a doctor who's super smart, whose fiance had died, died because her fiance, we find out, is is the dude who's going to become Firestorm on the show. Uh, that's what I get for reading these reports on Screen Rant. You know, I just find out who people are. So he's going to come back and be Firestorm, and it's Stephen Amell's cousin or brother or whatever, the other Amell who was on that Tomorrow Show. That's her fiance, but she's all down and depressed because, hey, we caused this giant accident. My boss is in a wheelchair, and and now my fiance's dead. Then we get the other guy who's like the opposite of her and just always super positive. But he also, you know, gets serious when he's like, yeah, we did let all these metahumans go. But he's the tech dude. He makes all these different toys. He makes the Flash his suit. 
Um, the Flash in this one, is, like it starts off very not confident, but then there's two scientist friends of his. Well, I don't know if they're friends yet, but they kind of build up his confidence. Iris obviously supports him. Iris is uh, also dating the a, a cop dude whose name is a reference to one of the reverse flashes. Uh, and her dad doesn't know about that. Just a subplot, I guess, out there on this review. Not going to excuse my error of you. Go watch that instead. This, that's a much better review. I know more to talk about there. <laughs> the uh, He also gets a conversation with Arrow, which I think if I hadn't seen it in the trailer, I would have liked more because I wouldn't have seen it coming. And this, it was... It, it seemed kind of gimmicky because I already knew it was there, but it would have been a nice nod if I didn't kind of like when the exact opposite happened in The Flash. I didn't know that was coming. I was like, oh, nice little nod. Where in this one, I'm like, eh, a bit gimmicky. But he also inspires him to be more of a hero. And then even the guy in the wheelchair also inspires him to become a hero. So I think he's going to build his confidence over the next couple episodes and become more of the Flash we're used to. But I do like where he's starting from because he's starting to become, hey, I can run really fast. That's really what the Flash is about. He's going to start giving off one-liners pretty soon. And uh, he's going to have to test himself more, which I think will be cool. Now let's get to the big twist ending, because, you know, all things need a twist ending. And that's that the wheelchair dude, this Harrison Wells, something like that. I think it's a fake name, which I'll get to in a minute. We find out uh, he can walk, and he has a newspaper from the future that shows the... A crisis leads to the Flash dying, obviously alluding to Crisis on Infinite Earth, one of the few DC comics I actually did read, and it ends with Barry Allen's death, so yeah, those things go together. Um, uh, so my prediction is this dude went to the past, wound up killing Barry Allen's mom, but had to make sure he still became the Flash, so I think this newspaper is the kind of thing that that will change every time he looks at it. And uh, he's going to wind up being the reverse Flash of the series. I don't think that's too much of a bold prediction, especially since they just released pictures today of the reverse Flash showing up. They were stunt doubles using it, so we don't know who it is. But, yeah, that's my prediction to who he is. Not liking this as much as Arrow, but I think I could by the end of it. It was a very, it was a very easy watch, enjoyable to watch, and I think... It starts kind of the way the first episode of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. started, and where it could go either way. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. started, and I was like, alright, this show's potential. Uh, then it kind of lost, made me lose faith in it. But then near the end of the series, it gained it back. Hopefully, The Flash just starts off with the with the upward motion, so it doesn't take a dive first. Um, and speaking of S.H.I.E.L.D., I will start reviewing that eventually. Uh, I still haven't seen the third episode. I wasn't going to review after the first two, but then I was like, no, I'll wait till I see the first three, and I still haven't wanted to watch it, so on my DVR. Same thing with Gotham. Gotham, I wanted to give you know a couple episodes in to make sure it's good enough to review, and yeah, 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 it is. And then I'll probably also review Constantine when that comes out, because I like my superhero shows. Um, so anyways, what did you guys think of the premiere of The Flash? Do you prefer this or Arrow, or one of the other comic shows on TV. Let me know down below. Please like, share, and subscribe as always, and thank you guys for watching.